Hi, I'm Adam Culp and you're at BeachCast. Today, we're going to be storing sensitive data and environment variables using php.env for PHP. So stick around and we'll get right on that. Welcome back. If you want to grow as a developer and learn how to make better web applications, start now by subscribing to the channel and make sure to click the bell so you don't miss anything. And for live coding, check out BeachCast on Twitch. I stream a few times a week and it's totally different content than I put here on YouTube. Thank you. So as I said, we're gonna be playing with environment variables and storing sensitive data there. Uh, this is part of the 12-factor app. If you've done any, any research at all on 12-factor app, I'll make sure to link it down below. So check out that link. And um, the thing is, is environment variables shouldn't be stored within your code. It should be stored elsewhere and pulled in as you need it into your code. One of the best ways and the way that most developers have come to rely on storing this information is in the environment. And that way it can be changed as well. If you wanted a different environment for production than you have in development, than you have in testing or staging, you can do that by storing different environment variables. Now there's a package in PHP that makes this really easy. It's from a friend of mine named Vance Lucas. He created the package php.env. Uh, so I'm going to talk a little bit about that package and show you how to use it. I'm not going to get into very advanced usage. This is just going to be basic usage, but it'll get you started so that way you can use it in your applications as well. So let's get started. Okay, so as you can see on the screen, I've just got a base uh, brand new project here set up. There is nothing inside this folder at all. So I'm going to start from scratch. Now to do that, the first thing I want to do is pull in uh, Composer. I want to use Composer, so I'm going to init Composer and, and get a beginning file. The idea behind using Composer is, of course, it, it handles the dependency management for you, also handles the auto loading for you. So it makes it easier to be able to use things. Now, I'm not going to do much in this Composer.json. I'm going to just close that. Uh, it's in my project. It's started and I can I can use it from within PHP Storm. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, the first thing I want to do is I want to use Composer to handle the install. So I'm going to click on Tools, go to Composer, down to Manage Dependencies, and then I'm going to start typing vlucasphp.env. So select that package. I'm going to go ahead and go with the 3.5 version, click Install, and then I'm going to let PHP Storm do the install using Composer in the back end. And so it's now going out to the, to the internet, to Packagist, figuring out any dependencies of php.env and pulling all that down and putting it into our project. Okay, so that has completed. Uh, by looking at our project, we see that we do have a vendor folder now, uh, and it does have uh, the vlucas folder with php.env, as well as some other dependencies that that package brings with it. Now, we also notice that there's an autoload.php here. So we want to use that. We want to use the PHP, or we want to use the autoload.php uh, in our dependencies here. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new file. I'm going to create a brand new file, and we'll just call that index. We're going to keep it nice and simple. And it's created a beginning PHP file for us. Now that, um, So that beginning file has really nothing in it. The first thing we want to do is we want to pull in the auto loader. So that way we can use the, the uh, libraries that we just pulled down from Packagist. So I'm gonna do uh, require once and in require once, I'm going to put in vendor auto load PHP just like that. So now we, we are going to be able to leverage the composer auto loader. Now, in addition to that, I want to, the first thing I want to do is I want to um, use the php.env li library to now inject some information into our environmental variables. But first, I need to create that. So that's the next thing I'm going to do is create a new file. And we're going to name this file.env. 
and right now it's empty there's nothing in there I'm gonna go ahead and put some some sample information in there now typically what we find with uh, ENV files is usually you have usually you have some just key value pairs right so we have a test key with a value we have junk with a value API key with the value and password also with the value and these are just things that I'm messing around with in this video of course I would put you would put real uh, information here to use um, but let's go ahead and play with that just as it is now the first thing we want to do is we want to uh, first off call dot env so we're gonna do dot env and we want to call the create method now that is going to that is going to create the the uh, the object if you will uh, and actually it's going to create the object with the env file that we just created but we have to tell it where to find that file and since I created it in the same directory I'm just going to go ahead and put dir there so it'll know to pull it in from right here now in addition to that I also want to load the the environmental variables so now at this point if I were to run this just as it is, it would take the contents of that .env file and put it in the environment variables. Now to test this, I can do a var dump and uh, do a var dump of the environment, just like that, and, and just run this file as it is. And so let me go ahead and go to the terminal. So if we run this file, I'm gonna call php index and just run it and we see that we get back the var dump which is telling us the keys that are in our environmental variable and we can see all the values here that we have in our .env file so at this point it's working it's it's injecting that information into our environment and then we can pull it out as we need to now additionally if i wanted to do something more than that say i wanted to include this as uh, and create an object and have this available uh, throughout my application in a little different way. I could do something like this. Maybe instead I want to To use .env just like this, right? And then after that After that I want to create a factory so I can create a factory that I can then use throughout my application so by doing something like this Actually, I don't need that use statement, so let me delete that out because I'm, I'm specifying the entire namespace here, so I don't need to do the use statement. So by doing the use statement, um, I'm calling the .env factory, I'm calling the adapter, env construct adapter, and, uh, and I'm also calling the put env adapter. So now at this point, it's creating a factory. I could, in addition to that then, uh, use that so if I create a variable called dot env right and if I do dot env like this and to create and of course put in the same thing tell it the directory where my env file is going to be now the second argument is the file itself I'm going to go ahead and just put null there because by default it's looking for a .env file so I don't need to specify that file name I could specify it there but it's not really important and then as the third argument I'm going to go ahead and pass in the factory that we just created now what we can do is we can use that .env throughout our code and in this case I want to do load and the load is going to do exactly the same thing as we did before where it's taking that .env file and adding it to our environment or variables. So the same thing applies. If I run that file again, I get back the same thing because my environmental variable is still being populated. However, I could, if I wanted to, I could use this .env uh, object throughout my code base to do additional things. There are some validations that can be used and putting data into the environment and, and pulling it out of the environment. And there's other things that can be done using the php.env library.
So that's all I have for this time. I hope you found it helpful. You should be using environmental variables for all your credentials in your applications and putting them there. Using php.env is a great library for doing that. Many popular frameworks in the PHP space already use this library uh, and are already including it. And you can use it through your custom code that you use with those frameworks. So uh, please, if you like this video, if you enjoyed the channel, please like the video, leave a comment down below. Tell me if you use php.env in any other way, or if you use some other library, let me know. So that way I can share it with others. It can be shared through the comments uh, below the videos. Also remember to check out uh, Beachcast on Twitch, where I stream a few times a week. I look forward to seeing you there. Thank you.